Back. Well, for the first time in a long time, Dan, it feels like there's not a lot of weather to talk about, which is kind of crazy to say, considering that we're coming into the fall season. Yeah, I mean, we had those storms like, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to have to say it because he's not going to admit it, but there's a tissue box over there because he is crying to be so happy. He has not worked with me in about, what, two and a half weeks now? You can, look, your eyes are a little red, too. You'll be crying all morning. Oh. It's okay, man. I'm here to make you feel better. But yeah, <laughs> after those storms Thursday, we really started a dry stretch of weather. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, we've had gorgeous weather. I, do you remember, I don't even know if I, I haven't seen a cloud, I feel like, the last three days. It's just been yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, we were out. Sports Extra on Friday in New Ulm, not a cloud yeah, out no, there. Yesterday, it wasn't a cloud. We were sitting outside um, having a fire out on our driveway, so not a cloud either. It's just absolutely perfect. And it's going to stay that way the next couple of days before maybe a rain chance with a cold front Wednesday night into Thursday. And we woke up with temperatures mostly in the 40s throughout the region. Those low temperatures are going to start to increase the next couple of days, even to 62 degrees as we warm up on Wednesday evening, but that cold front is going to come through Wednesday night into Thursday, and that's going to drop our low temperatures. We're talking Friday, Saturday, definitely going to feel more fall like with those overnight temperatures into the mid to upper 40s before we start to warm up as we go into the week after. And here's a little bit of a recap for Mankato in the month of August. 10 of 31 days, we had a high at 80 degrees or above, which is roughly about a third of the days. We normally average, average around 15 to 16 days at 80 degrees or above. That gave us an overall high temperature of 77.8 for the month. We're about two degrees cooler than our average of 79.5 for the month of August. And the coolest nights we had, 51 degrees, and that was on August 10th and August 11th. And out there now it is 53 degrees. The wind pressure, that disappeared. I don't know where that went, but it is 53 degrees out there. Temperatures still into the 40s, though, for a lot of areas. 45 degrees into Wasika, 46 in Owatonna, 45 degrees into Wyndham. And as you look down south, Still 43 degrees as you go into Forest City, into Iowa. Definitely a chilly start to our Labor Day, but it is going to warm up as we go through the day. By noon, towards lunchtime, we're going to be into the upper 60s, near 70. As we go towards 3, 4 o'clock, we're going to start to warm up into the low to mid-70s. We're going to, winds are going to increase out of the south around 10 miles per hour, and that's going to warm things up for our day today. And we're going to stay sunny again as we go into the day tomorrow and Tuesday. Definitely going to need some of Mama Jackson's sunscreen, especially on Wednesday, because it is going to get mostly sunny again. Temperatures are going to increase summer like into Wednesday, into the low to mid 80s. And we're talking a cold front Wednesday night into Thursday morning. That could bring a couple little scattered rain showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but we're really not expecting anything widespread with that at the moment. And behind that cold front next weekend, we're going to cool down into the 60s for highs. You can see Wednesday again, we warm up into the 80s. Cold front comes through, cools things down a little bit on the Thursday. But Friday, Saturday, we're talking mid to upper 60s for highs. Definitely more footballish, fallish, Halloweenish weather this weekend coming up. And those winds going to increase tomorrow, as you can see around 430 out of the south, gusting between 20 to 25 miles per hour. They'll stay that way over Tuesday night into Wednesday, gusting a little bit higher towards 25 miles per hour for our day on Wednesday, which will increase those temperatures into the low to mid 80s. You can see over the next seven days, really not expecting much rain, even with that cold front that comes through Wednesday through Thursday morning, really not expecting much with that at the moment. Today, again, it's going to be a nice sunny day. Temperatures into the mid 70s. Tonight, another mostly clear evening. Temperatures are good 5 to 10 degrees warmer as we're going to be into the mid 50s for our lows tonight, but just another gorgeous evening as we take a look at that 10 day forecast. A lot of sun as we go through the week. Again, Wednesday is going to be the hot day of the week, so if you like summer, that'll be the day to enjoy that. We'll cool down Thursday into the mid 70s with possibly a scattered shower. That cold front passes through Thursday, cools things down for the weekend, but we will have high pressure back in there, giving us more sunny conditions for the weekend. More news after the break.